Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So, today I am going to be doing something very, very special. So before I do that, I just wanted to talk to you about some things that I recently was sent from Dior and this is linked to kind of this video because this video is about something from Dior but before I show you that product I wanted to show you some of the gifts that I've been kindly sent in the last sort of couple of months what you can get from Dior if you are a VIP or someone who essentially buys a lot from Dior I was sent this and I just wanted to show you this because it has totally been something very very special this is what I got sent and it's a porcelain soap dish but look at how gorgeous this is I really don't even want to use it for soap because I'm worried it's going to chip and I actually might use it for storing jewellery because it's just so so lovely and I feel like if I put a bar of soap on there it's just gonna <laughs> kind of chip away so oh thank you so much to your really really beautiful and I just love sort of ceramic things and this is linked to what I'm about to show you today so thank you very much as part of that I also got this lucky soap and it's a 50 gram size it looks like that oh my god it's such a beautiful scent as well again I don't like to use it but you know these things must be used so I will use this soap I just wanted to share that with you because it's such a lovely gift that I got it's such a lovely lovely gift and you're really treat their customers really really well so this is what it looks like up close this is the ceramic dish for the soap and this is the soap on the side isn't that just stunning out of superstition, Christian Dior would sew a sprig of Lily of the Valley into the hem of his creations to bring him good luck. Today, the fragrance Lucky, with its profusion of white flowers and freshness, reinterprets the scent of this hidden Lily of the Valley sewn into metres of silk. The House of Dior invites you to discover this set where the love of fragrance becomes an art of living. It features a Lucky soap that will give an immediate feeling of freshness and a ceramic soap holder with the iconic motif so dear to Christian Dior. Okay, so this is why we are here today and so I'm going to read a little bit about this. Some of you may or may not know that Dior have launched some ceramic lipsticks. I got the lipstick and the case because I am a collector, as you probably know, and it was just too beautiful not to collect. So let me show you what it looks like. So it comes in this gorgeous Dior case. You flip it open and then you've got the case in there. This isn't just any case, so I'm gonna read you what this is about. So before I do that, I'm gonna show you also what was included in here. You get a pouch, which is a pouch, which I believe is for the case itself. So this is to protect the case. And then you get a pouch for the actual lipsticks. So this is on another level. Let me read the information in the pack. So it comes in this lovely, envelope it's an authentication certificate and i'll go into little detail as to why this is so special the house of dior brings its savoir faire to the creation of the most precious of all its lipsticks rouge premier an exceptional elixir in a ceramic case for haute couture lips this extraordinary lipstick adorned with 24 karat gold particles offers a rare experience and a uniquely matte luminous makeup finish it gives the lips radiant color a true concentrate of beauty rouge premiere is enriched with a precious extract of hand-picked red hibiscus flowers with the dior gardens of burkina faso to deliver a sensation of instant comfort and exceptional lip care. Rouge Premier is available in a range of haute couture shades, like the tones of an essential wardrobe to coat the lips in a single stroke. Each universal hue offers a vividly condensed color in a matte, luminous texture. A true jewel that stands the test of time. The Rouge Premier case is made entirely of ceramic and metal, 
Refillable, it is part of Dior's initiative for sustainable luxury. The concept arose through an unprecedented collaboration between the House of Christian Dior and the century-old artisanal ceramic workshop Bernardard, which has perpetrated the French tradition of handcrafting Limago's porcelain since 1863. Nestled inside a luxe case alongside a refill and a protective pouch, Rouge Premier slips easily into the pouch so that each woman may enjoy its use from dressing table to handbag. This enduring object art has an oval shape dear to the heritage of Dior. It features the iconic Toile de Joy design, the first motif to grace the decor of a historical boutique at 30 Montaigne, a timeless signature to pass down through the generations. Rouge Premier is the quintessence of sensory delight and the Dior legacy. Heralding a new art of makeup to complete this haute couture experience, the lipstick pairs perfectly with other beauty accessories adorned with ceramic finishes, the mirror and the premier brush. The complete collection can be discovered exclusively in selected Dior boutiques and on Dior.com. To preserve Rouge Premier, protect it in its protective pouch. It's now available on Dior.com and exclusively at Harrods. 12 universal shades created by Peter Phillips and Peter Phillips is the creative and image director for Dior makeup for a timeless range that fulfills every woman's makeup desire. I went into Harrods because I wanted to see it for myself and I thought to myself that there's only been apparently a thousand of these pieces that have been made. I wanted to try on all 12 shades to make sure I picked the colours that really resonated with me and I came out with two refills that I liked the most so I'm going to go with those first and then I'm going to show you those. I also had two more on my sort of wish list so I will pick those up at some point because now I have the actual case. This is not for the faint-hearted, the case is a lot of money. It's more than I've ever paid for anything in terms of a beauty product. It's not something that I would say go out and buy if you know you have the spare cash because it's something that I collect and something that I wanted to purchase. So please don't take this as today as you must go out and buy this. I am showing you this because it is a thing of beauty. It's something that I felt very drawn to, something that I wanted and I've worked very hard for. So, you know, I work hard, but I get products that make me happy. So this is to show you how it looks. What's interesting about this is I recently did a review on the Chanel lipsticks and the Chanel lipsticks, someone told me actually, you can use those without having the case itself. But this one, it's very easy to use without the case. So if you wanted to buy the refills, you can use it without the case. So just be aware, if you want to save a bit of money, that may be something worth looking into. So as I mentioned, it comes in this gorgeous case. It's got CD written, and then you've got the gorgeous packaging that encapsulates it. And my God, this is a collector's item. It's beautiful. So you open it up. Featuring two metal plates on the top and bottom are coated in 18 karat gold. It does feel weighty. This is ceramic. This is the design and how it looks without the lipstick inside. Dior's Toile de Jouy motif, one of the iconic codes of the fashion brand's couture collections in the Gris Dior shade, decorates the pack. You lift it and it has the Dior star here at the bottom, which is where the lipstick will go into. Then you have the ceramic around it. So, wow, this is something of a collector's item, something that I will definitely keep forever. I will never sell this and I will pass this on to whoever that may be. So yeah, it is stunning. And then you click it into place. Then it has a magnetic bit that just clicks like that. Okay, so, I mean, that is the case. Let's just marvel at the design of that. It's absolutely stunning. So in total, there were 12 colors and I picked up number two and number seven. It does look beautiful once you open it. It does have the lovely packaging inside and it's made in France and there's 3.5 grams of product in each lipstick. I'll open this one up for you. This is number two. There's a star at the bottom. This is where the 
lipstick will insert into the case. So this is the packaging that it comes in, which is really lovely. So this is the refill. You've got the star at the bottom and then you've got the Christian Dior at the top. You pull it open and then you have this shade. So I went with 02 and this is what it looks like. And it's really hard to describe the formula, but it looks so beautiful when you see it in person. The shade is stunning. I tried this in store and fell in love immediately. Now the refills are a lot more affordable and I'll put the pricing of the refills as well as the case itself. Please don't be shocked by the price of the case because like I said, it's a collector's item. So here we go. So you pull it and then that's the shade. Okay, so we have the lipstick, we have the case, and we're gonna put it into the case. Like I said, you have the magnet. I've taken the top off this one. Basically gonna line up that and then put it in. There we go. It's in the case now. We're gonna take that and we're just gonna do a hand swatch of the shade. We are ready to apply this beautiful shade. So I have the lipstick, let's apply the shade. The lipstick formula itself contains 24 karat gold particles, a first for Dior, and is enriched with red hibiscus, known for its skincare properties, notes of Rui Boss, bergamot and black tea, perfume the bullet. Oh my goodness, how beautiful is this shade? So I've just put the case top on it and just wanted to show you how it looks when you've got the lipstick inside it and you pull it and there is a scent which is a kind of light scent that Dior have on their lipsticks and it's present in this as well. It's the most smoothest lipstick I have used. You know I've tried many many lipsticks and I do sound like a stuck record but I am so impressed with this formula. This I think took about five years to get out in terms of the formula of the lipstick. It feels like butter on my lips. It feels moisturizing, it feels really lovely. I think this is probably one of my favorite formulas now and I can't wait to try more refills in here because I think that the formula is just stunning. It feels really moisturising, really moisturising and one of the things that impressed me was when I went into store was just how it felt on my lips. I've never felt any lipstick like this. I've tried Hermes, I've tried all the other Dior actually and Chanel as you know, I just did a review on Chanel and I'm not saying those are bad, I'm saying they're still really amazing but this is a beautiful formula. It's really hard to describe because I think you need to try it for yourself. So if you are in a boutique, I know it's exclusive to Harrods in the UK. I don't think it's sold anywhere else. And even like some of my boutique stores here don't sell it yet. So I had to go to Harrods specifically in Knightsbridge to try this on. I picked this because it just looked and felt so wearable and I just love the colour on me. I just think it looks really, really pretty. So this is the colour number two and yeah, I absolutely love it. This is the pouch. That's the lipstick pouch. So we are now moving on to the next shade. I'm just going to lock that in. And this is the shade number seven. So I'll show you what number seven looks like. Wow, isn't that gorgeous? This is number seven. Okay, so I'm just going to do a hand swatch of number seven. Oh, 
All right, so let's look at number seven. Oh, this is pretty. This is a gorgeous shade. This is number seven. So I have number seven on and oh my god, I can't choose between the two. I think this one is also stunning. It suits my complexion. I love the way it looks. It's really, really pretty. This is a gorgeous shade, number seven. That is what I've picked up and I just wanted to say that if you're thinking about a Christmas gift, if you're looking for something for your other half and they have everything they want already but you're looking for something extra special, this might be the perfect thing to if you know, it's a special occasion, maybe it's an anniversary or something like that. I think this is good for a special occasion. I also think it's good for someone who's a collector. I don't think it's necessarily good for someone who doesn't want to spend loads of money on something that they may not potentially have that connection with or feel that it's worthwhile. I totally understand that perspective as well so if you don't feel it's for you then that's totally fine as well in terms of the lipstick case. If you are interested I've only used this a few times and I have noticed that it does sort of scratch a little bit so you will lose that over time as you use it but this is meant to be used so I don't really mind so much but I just thought I'd let you know. Please let me know what you think. I know there's going to be a lot of debate about whether the case is worth it and if you are of the school of thought that you think that perhaps it's an extravagance then I totally understand that. If you are from the side where you think it's a collector's item, it's a one-off piece. However, for me, and because I love makeup and I love this particular design and I love the story behind it, and because I really love this design and I love Dior, it just makes sense for me to pick it up and that's my choice and my sort of decision. I'm not asking you to go out and buy this, it's just for me to show you how this looks if you're interested and you happen to be intrigued. Is it worth it? I think the lipsticks are definitely worth it. I think that if you were to buy these as individuals, you're going to be so impressed by the formula. I think the case is definitely a question mark if you are not a collector. But if you do collect and you do want something special, then this is something that you'll always treasure. It's something that you can pass on to generations to come. And it's something that I'm definitely not going to sell unless I'm really broke. Yeah, I mean, that's the only reason I would sell it. But other than that, I wouldn't sell it. It's definitely something that I can treasure forever. Please let me know. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.